doing tonight. So welcome back to Monster Train. Looking to get some spicy runs going. So I've been making a lot of episodes uh, for YouTube. A lot of just like standalones. And we're up to Covenant Rank 11. We've made some serious progress. So I'd like to do one with Hellhorn. Um, what's here? This is kind of funny to me. Uh, I go to the logbook. You can see Awoken. I got Covenant Rank 9 and 4. So I'm pretty, pretty good at Awoken. Stygian I broke into rank 6 with. You know, I don't play Stygian a lot, but 6, that's that's a solid, solid way up there. Umbra, I just tear shit up. 7, 8, 3, I've, I've you know, every single combination with Umbra I've won. Uh, Melting is what I broke into 10 with, and I got 5. But up here, I've won a game of every combo, but I have not broken a Covenant rank with them. And so I really, really want to get a Hellhorn win. Um, I'm not sure what the combo is though. So I've been, I've been trying two separate combos here. The first is Hellhorn Awoken. And the idea is to keep this guy buffed up, uh, with lots of regen so he can get kills. The second is Hellhorn Umbra, which involves just feeding him and getting him nice and fat via morsels so that he can get lots of kills so we're gonna start off with a hellhorn awoken build i am i'm we're gonna keep doing awoken we're gonna get this covenant win not a bad start i like i like the uh five damage 20 armor i like the consume regions and i do like molten imps so this is a, a good start we're up against the buff debuff Oh boy. Um, you play a spell. What spells do we have? Well, right now, if I play branding right, everything would be cheaper, but sketches can be really potent. Let's let's try a sketches build. I had lots of luck with sketches in the past. I've been trying to make wrathful work. I don't know if it can. I think multi-strike slay is going to be a better bet because the idea here the problem with wrathful is you essentially make him your frontliner and the idea is he kills something he gets armor if something hits him he get gets rage it sounds good in theory but the problem is that he ends up just not being tanky enough to pull it off sadly but i'm going to take it anyway because i swear i'm going to make it work one way or another Non-boss enemies enter with spikes. Well, whatever. It's round one. They won't do that much damage. Um... He's not going to be able to do 40 damage at all here, but... I can... boop you off. I can boop you off. I can boop you. Um, I need a knockback. I need to scooch you away. We're gonna sap him up. We're gonna heal him. We're gonna put nothing. Too many spikes. Too many spikes. Too many spikes. Get rid of you. Oh, damn, you're almost dead, but not enough. rid of that shit. Get rid of this. And I win here. Regen! Mm. Let's take another imp. Take that. Um, let's get a unit and let's pimp it out. Slay. 
Hmm. I'm going to try and make him good. I've never had luck with him. But I'm going to try and give him quick. And buff his damage up to another 20. And I'll put him... Uh, he'll probably come out in the mid. Um, and what we're counting on here is him getting a quick kill and buffing the rest of the mid lane. That's, that's the hope. We're fine with this. Alright, so he is there. So the question is, I need to get this dude out. Get rid of that. Put you down. You're taking five. 23. Still not going to be enough. Alright, our mid lane. They kill them all. Kill that off. Start stacking the regen on him. Oh, this will work. He's going to rage them all up. Let's give you... Ah, damn it. I did that too soon. Final wave. Kill you. And I win. So regen on him is working pretty well. That's when he has time. Any chance for a duet with Paige? I don't know. That's that's a hundred percent no. There's no way Paige is gonna stay awake late enough for Rock Band. It just isn't happening. Um, do that. I'm sure if you ever saw a post about it. What did you rate The Witcher on Netflix? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was phenomenal. Let's go... Quick. 25 and 3 on Quick. We're doing a big emphasis on damage. That is a great pickup. Multi-strike Quick. That's huge. Let's get your health higher than 3. And I think we're good there. Theft it is. I hate the explode twice. These things suck. Our monster stream live streams uploaded. Everything I stream on YouTube is uploaded. Except for Rock Band because either I take it down or it gets uh it gets destroyed via monetization. Um, he's gonna die. Wait, hang on a second. What's up there? Get him out. And let's uh, start stacking you up. All right, so we're gonna kill one. I need to... Oh no, yeah, because I got the quick, we'll be good there. Alright, let me get... No, you know, I'm not even gonna need that. Let me just stack up your regen more. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Alright. Um, thank you for the 50 gold. One of them is dying. I don't know who is getting the kill, but... It's our big guy. No. If I can get an infinite rage, this would be a pretty sick combo. Only doing 384 damage. 
about we scooch you up and now I'm doing 388? I mean, we win here anyway. Game destroyed your productivity. I mean, it's not surprising, man. This game is great. Like, honestly, after spikes on friendly, consume, restore a friendly unit to full health and swap attack and health. I've never worked with this. Um, I do like doubling armor, though. Uh, multi-strike. Let's do a thick boy. Multi-strike. And let's go... There's a couple mods. Just one here for now. Let's go... Let's go here, because I can benefit from the gold, the pyre. Uh, zero and three. I want the draw power, wing steel. I don't, I don't have a lot of cheap spells, though. Most of my stuff is already won, whatever. I'll do wing steel. O'Shea joined the Booty Nation. We're going to go for this one. So now that'll ramp his attack up. That's usually pretty good. No, I think, I think the game's actually full release. I thought it was early access at first, but I'm pretty sure it's full release now. Second, I noticed the... Uh... Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. Let's cut the chroma. There was a little bit of chroma up top that was being messy. It's good now. Is it the same devs? It's not, but they took a lot of inspiration from Slay the Spire. Haste. Fucking haste, man. It's always haste. Alright, what we're gonna do here is you... You... You're doing how much damage? 15. Maybe 50 to that. Shove her up there. The only problem with this is my guys up top aren't getting like anything. But come on, play. There we go. That's dead. to suggest games? I mean, you're allowed to suggest games. It doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily listen to your suggestion. on anything else aside from Steam? No, sadly there it is not. I would love to see this on uh like even and I, I was actually playing this via Steam Link on my phone and it's it works pretty well on mobile. I would bet if they uh if they did a mobile port of this it would probably be pretty dope. How about we kill you? Just gonna ascend you up top. You'll die to the pyre. You'll die. And we're gonna stack your armor up.
Yeah, dude, it would be like, it would be problematic having this on Switch as much as I play it. Like, honestly, I tried because um, they finally released the Watcher update on Slay the Spire. So I went back to to try that out the other night and see how I'd like it. And honestly, after 12, I can't even get high enough to stop that. Um, as much as I've been playing this game now, Slay the Spire like, isn't even as fun. Like, oh shit, I'm not getting enough here. Um, okay. 90. Oh, damn, that's real close. Oh, damn it. If I could have played the wild, what I would have been good. Whatever. It's He's getting down low. He's going to be real low. Yeah, I need to keep them on the bottom floor. They don't hurt. Well, ideally, I would need them in the mid floor, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, this is very fast paced compared to Slay the Spire. I don't have enough spikes. Give me the money. Uh, Rage and armor. Ooh, skips. Spreading spores is great, but I don't have anything that'll go well with it. I've actually heard about furry before. I've never, I've never played it, but I think it's a little bit too, and I don't, I don't know. I've seen gameplay of it, and I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Damn, this game really wanted me to do a spikes build. That's not what we're doing. Summon abilities trigger. Um, that would help my rage or my molten imps, and that's about it. Um, I don't have an X cost. The Hell's banners could be good. Rage does. Oh my god, can I get both? I can. Oh shit! Resonant shard and collection of tails, dude. This is about to be nuts. If I can get enough rage build up. I'm totally playing Amalur. That game had some of the best combat like ever. Damn, 88888. Eight, eight, eight. That's a lot of hits coming out. Um, how do I want to play this? You survive? You would quick, you would. Here's what I can do. I can kill oh shit. I'm going to sacrifice. I think if I ascend, it puts it to the back. Oh, man. No, wait. Ascend you. You do go to the back. Put him out. There we go. Perfect. All right. He's got his initial bit of armor. Putting him out. Um, no, no, don't tell me you're gonna just die here. What is the? What is your extinguish? Shit! When you die, you buff everything. Oh, this is not good. I shouldn't have made them so strong. Oh god, I can't even afford it. We're dead. We're dead. Um what do we what do we do here? I buff you. Basically the my best bet here is going to be putting everything in the animus of speed and just praying that she's strong enough to win. Oh, hell yeah, Molten it. Wipe him out. No! Oh my god, there's no way, dude. They are shredding my pyre right now. Um. Ugh. 
<sighs> I mean, I kill them both, but I need to move you up. There we go. Okay. It's, let me see. I need to kill you, but damn, that buff's just gonna hurt. But you're eight, otherwise, well, five by seven, he's going up to what? So you're going up from 25, an extra 10 damage? No, it's not worth killing you. It is worth killing you. Damn, I'm only doing 123 damage? Fuck me. 237. I mean, I'm, I'm screwed. I can't do... This thing's gonna shred my spire. You need to drink a beer? Um, it's fucking Monday night, dude. How about, how about a big no? How about no? Right, as soon as I got the rage thing, too. All right, let's try pulling Umbra out, see if that works better. Morsel Miner, Sacking the Imp, and Fortify. Um, yes, Split Anvil can work really well with Morsels. Um, bum, 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 bum. If I do the Slay version, he needs to stay in the back, but he can build up. I've had good luck with that. Beer is weak. It's like juice. All right, man. We'll go drink some beers then. I don't feel like drinking a beer tonight. That game is great, right? Get get some people over to do co-op with it, and it becomes a thousand times better. Like every time I have people over for, uh, for like a co-op game night, I like usually start with Smash, and at some point I'm like, all right, y'all ready for duck game? It's always ridiculous. Damn it, I keep forgetting that you're going to spawn up there every time. Uh, let's just put... You're going to save him. Taking too much damage. Like, Slay works, but he needs, he absolutely needs to have uh, a front line, which he does not have right now. Like, I need to get something that's fat and beefy in front of him. Takes me up to 120. Does not help at all. I win. Mm -mm. Hmm. I'm thinking Vent, I don't have any other form of AoE damage. And space prism. Pump the rooms. Oh, the ranged brute can do some silly shit. Let's get him. Let's, let's go this way. I still need a tank. I need a tank. I could do you. And a morsel maker. If I if I put a crucible collector down, 
Now a morsel maker. Let's do crucible collector for now. And then we're gonna make you beefier and we're gonna give you an initial damage shield. Enemies enter with spikes. As long as my life still keeps keeps up. The trick here is I can't have my dude kill himself. You're gonna give me a sinner's burden. Great. Um, we're gonna put you up top in case they summon a thing or a bobber. We're gonna put you there. We're gonna kill that. You're swinging for two damage, and I'm hitting myself for three. I need a morsel morsel up sooner rather than later all right put him out uh what do i want to do here yeah this guy why drink beer when you could drink delicious water Problem is I'm gonna kill myself on these damn spikes. Uh, but I'll kill you. And I'll kill do you and doesn't really matter. You're gonna die anyway, so let's work him down some. Final wave. Let's give you lots of armor. Let's put you here for some extra damage. Boop you and get rid of them. Um, oh, I went already. Well, whatever. We'll play this just because lol. I'm beefier than you. I don't have an imp yet. So let's get let's get a molten imp. Um we'll do packed morsels to feed our fatty. What do I got? Yeah, let's go this way. I really need the pyre health. And then we can grab this and Endless. Endless Molten Imp is delicious. Let's make you general stronger. Extra 15 damage, 35 health. Yeah, it's fine. And then we'll get a big upgrade on him later. Tea is great, but tea is actually dehydrating for you. Awoken, Melting, and Stygian. Um... Let's get a rare Awoken pick. Apply quick. All cards enhance this way, get cheaper. So if I do that, there's a chance I could enhance my torches and all that. But I already have, I need quick. Double barrel explode twice. I hate the explodey barrels. No. Uh, he's gonna slay one. Putting you up top.
haste? That's not happening. Let's go quick on you. Remove the haste. Ooh, baby, damage shield and life steal. Beautiful. Do this. And ooh, I messed that up a little bit. I should have put them both out front just to tank the explodey thing, but I don't think this guy will make it past our second spot. Yes, Morsel Miner, Morsel Excavator, and we'll do that, and a little bit of that. Alright, this is working pretty well. We've gotten enough Slay that he's up to 65, we already went here. As long as I can keep this combo going, just keep them in either the mid lane or the top lane so they get nice and oh man all right um mm, i like furnace tap but the problem is that ember drain four can really screw you over i've had that ember train the ember drain screw me over a couple times i'm thinking i go for one horn Because if I can't play, if I can't make my morsels, I'll bone myself. So let's do this. It's expensive, but it is what it is. And then you're a two drop. I need a way to get energy though. Well, I got my morsels, I guess. They'll put me up to five. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's go this way. Draw power. Random. I want to take the randomizer. I don't know. The one good thing about randomizer is if I have one spell that's three, it'll make everything else free. Spell, not units. Let's do the draw. And then for remove... I think I drop out some stupids. Now my face is usually in the left corner. I mean, I'll move it depending on the game. You know, if there's, if there's stuff over here, I'll put my head over here, but... Um... Slate 20. Let's just make you as glass cannony as possible. I'll skip on the spikes. Evening, Jason. Got the setup. Somebody get timed out. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. So this lane is good. I don't think I need to do anything else there. Um, except I want her dead, so we're... <laughs> We're killing her. We're doing it. Kind of, which was kind of a waste, but I wanted that gold, man. Um, let's give you armor, and then so any of our other morsels will just feed to this guy up top. 
and uh, we'll get nice and beefed up. Which, there we go with that energy. That'll set me up. We're gonna get rid of you. I don't know what you're doing. Getting rid of you. Um. Die. You're dead. Quick on the kills. Oh, I'm, I'm quick with the timeouts. See, if I'm playing something like Call of Duty, it's a little bit harder because I've, you know, I got to be paying attention to what's going on in the game. But with a game like this, I will time out some trash can instantly. Oh, Tem actually, never mind. Tem hit him before I hit the timeout. Damn, Tem. All of my spells are free. More so minor for me. Armor for you. I'm pretty sure my mid lane wins this fight. Yeah, they do. 90 damage a pop. Look at him go. Boom. I will turn him into a winner. Um, return a consumed spell. What do I have that has consume at the moment? Only the multi strike or space prism. Hmm. Yeah. Double multi-strike would be funny. Um, feast. Feast could be good to build up some extra life steals. So we're looking good. Let me see. You're upgraded. You could use an upgrade. Oh shit, I just got a disgustingly good idea. If I can get holdover. Well, let's make you a little cheaper. Um, damn it, no holdover. Um, I wouldn't need to apply quick to anything else. Um, repeatable space prism is not terrible. It's not really needed right now. Repeatable multi strike could be nice. Yeah, let's go repeatable multi strike. Why not? Um. <laughs> I don't think I do anything. Rain. Does life steal count as healing? Probably. Let's do this. Let the pyre kill people and heal itself. This might be the attempt that gets us through. Spell shield. Have I been killing stuff with magic, really? I have been using vent a fair amount. 95... Uh, these things that buff everything. Let's. How bad do I want that money? Let's 
go for it. If you called our name on Friday's stream for a key, but weren't here... Yeah, just message me on Discord. I still got a couple keys left. Not right now, obviously. It's like in the middle of the stream, but just ping me right afterwards. Putting you out. Putting you out. Putting out the morsel miner. Nom and nom and nom nom. It's one spell shield gone. Two spell shield gone. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about that. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, put you here. And I am going to... I have no morsel units right now. I'll put this up top for somebody. Use some armor. And we're good. Okay. Um, six, six, huh? I want you to die. I want you to nom that down. This is already over capacity. Let's bump this floor up more. And give you something else that's yummy to eat. strike quick armor forward wipe put this up here get you some extra gorge and some extra armor Ace Prism. Oh. Damn it. I need one more of those. Didn't get it. I'm not gonna get my book next time. Which sucks. can at least kill you. Damn, I'm not doing enough damage here. Shit. I'm only... Am I gonna lose again? Oh, wait, did he have... Oh my god, he had sweep. Son of a bitch, dude. No wonder why him sweeping, I didn't have nearly enough damage to kill his ass. And the morsel dies instantly. There's really no reason to even play them. Damn it. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe Hellhorn just sucks. Like... Hellhorn is just not, not getting it done. If that, if I was playing with Penumbra, that would have been a win. Let's let's try Awoken again. Maybe I can get a Thorny Boy in the front lane or something, and things will work out from there. But so right now, it's just I'm just not, not doing it. Uh, friendly units gain two on kill. Let's do the rooted. Yeah. 
Yeah, Ghost looks like it'll be fun. Ghost looks good. I don't, I'm not, honestly, I don't have a lot of feelings for Last of Us. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, Last of Us Part 2, but I'm kind of like, eh, eh. Like, I'm sure it'll be a good game, but even when we played the first one, like, Last of Us just never really, I don't know. I guess it didn't tug at my heartstrings the way that it does a lot of people. So I was always just kind of like, it's all right. Yeah, I did, well, I did a Let's Play of it back on Twitch ages ago, and then there was some discussion about replaying it before Last of Us 2 came out, and I considered it for a while. What? Am I going to die up here? Are you kidding me, dude? I'm not dying. Um, the problem with that, though, is that, honestly, Last of Us is the kind of game that after you have played it once like going back and playing it a second time just doesn't really make sense because it's like it's a game like the biggest thing about last of us is the story once you have experienced that story you can't just re-experience it you know you know the story you know what happens you know who dies you know the drama and so, replaying it... Damn, I'm only getting 90 damage into you. Now I win. Die. It just doesn't work out. Yeah. Yeah, well, and even then, I mean... Bioshock, I at least think you can go through and play it a second time. Um, just for the sake of, like, you know, the combat's pretty good. But I feel like, hmm, give me that fat energy gain. And like, it's a good game. It's just, it's one of those games that you're playing it for the story. Once you know that story, it's kind of like, well, that was fun. Uh, do I buff up my sapwood or do I, no, yeah, I buff up the sapwood. Let's, let's, let's be smart about this. Uh, rail beater. Excellent synergy here. Large sap wood. Let's go. It's a thick ass. Thick boy. Well, no, hang on. I need to think about this. Yeah, no, I want him to be a thick boy. He's a thick as shit. Oh, look at him. 95 health. He's super thick. And then I'm going to save to buff you up. This might work, because I've had some mean-ass energy struggles. This guy. Eat this guy, dude. Yeah, I would completely agree. You get maybe a second playthrough, and then at that point, it's just kind of like, well, I've done it. I mean, honestly, that's that's my big problem with, uh, with revisiting The Witcher, and why I never got through the second playthrough of The Witcher 3. I thought The Witcher 3 was one of the best games created in my lifetime. Um, at the same time, that doesn't change the fact that once you have played The Witcher 3, you've played The Witcher 3. And I mean, I could understand if maybe like you went into the game and didn't really like do all that much, but when I played Witcher 3, I played Witcher 3. I went hard as hell on that game. I did everything you could. Everything. There was literally no limit to like, I mean, we were doing all the side quests. We were playing Gwen. We were we were trying to close out. I mean, God, how, how long was our Witcher playthrough? I think it was like the second, it was either the longest or the second longest playthrough on our channel. We put time in and wow, this guy is gonna, he's not even getting past Revenge Boy. That's crazy. I'm gonna kill y'all off anyway. Revenge Boy doesn't care about you. He is here to boop you in the face. Hmm. Do I have any consumers yet? I don't think I do. No. Let's. Piercing can save lives. 
Steel Enhancer. I can do some good stuff with that on my guy. Uh, let's go here. We'll buff the Pyre back up. Endless on the Imp. Endless Imp is just funny. Uh, we're gonna make you just general, generally stronger. Just make you a nice front facing force. Um, and then as for the purge, get rid of one of these stewards. I mean, I'm sure cyberpunk will be good, but I know I'm not gonna be able to dig in because that's like right around. I mean, what's what's the cyberpunk launch date? Cyberpunk launch is. September 17th and so that is a week and a half after the babies do purge a spell a purge a unit what am I purging right now um Let's purge this. Because if he can if he upgrades it with like, you know, double the power or something, it could be really good. Yeah, so I'll have I mean, the first week after the baby's born is gonna be just baby, obviously. Um, and I'm sure things will, will calm down slightly after that, but even then, I'm sure I'm not gonna have the time to to just go hard as, as hell into the game like I would have. When baby's born, you'll not be able to game for a few months because of a lack of sleep. I doubt that. Only because I already, like, I can function on about four hours of sleep. I don't, I don't sleep a lot to begin with, so. I don't think the sleep is going to be a concern for me. Have you not been, where have you been, Ragin? Yeah, we got a baby boy coming and, uh. Coming soon. I need him to get a slay, but you're gonna take a big ass hit. I need him to start slaying. No, let me. Oh, that's why. I did. I did announce it on Twitter. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> infinite imp loop. That'd be funny if I did something where like my imp just keeps coming out over and over again. Still streaming? Won't the baby keep stopping the stream? Well, the the game plan. So what's gonna happen is for starters, I get um I get like three months off. From the VA so VA work is um, I'm not worried about that you know that'll be a big break um, but what we'll probably end up doing is since I'm such a night person anyway more than likely um, Paige will will handle taking care of the baby during the day and then I'll be the one that's keeping an eye on the baby at night I think that's that is our uh, that's our game plan right now. Cuz I can I can uh I can swap my my schedule around pretty fast, so even if I'm like staying up crazy late to take take care of the kid um you know it, it, I can literally, I could be on a full-blown night schedule, and I need maybe one weekend, and I'll be good. I'll be back to a normal schedule, so. They're dead already. baby's name is Dorian not Geralt or Chunks 
There's the multi-strike, but I can actually get that off. Ooh, Consumer of Crows. He's a good card. How many imps I got? I have one imp right now. I have one imp, but I do have the dude that generates energy every time people hit him, so... Might be able to make this work. Dorian, not Durian. Dorian. So I'll call him Ian for short. That was my only rule. Page page picked the name. My my thing was I want I want a name that has a shorthand version where I can just be like bah and just say his name. If I had to be like, you know. I have some long ass name. Jonathan. Like no. I mean I don't even know if that's a name. And anyway. Uh let's go this way. We're gonna remove. We are going to pull out. One steward and one torch. Ian for short, not Rian. Uh, multi strike or quick. Um, since I already got a multi strike, we'll grab you. We're going to try and do this combo again. And... Ooh. So slay plus 20. Or multi... Let's do multi-strike. Because if I'm getting two kills a pop, I think I'll get more kills with multi-strike up. No, let's do this, because I'm going to be getting the... I have the multi-strike thing. I hope Ghost is long, because we got a slow-ass summer right now. Though I do have one game coming up before Last of Us Part 2. Secret. But it looks dope as hell. I should be putting them up top. Oh, whatever. If anything else shows up, you'll kill it. Um, pushes back and kills. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Dead. Die, nerd. I played Origins before. Alright. You're gonna gain lots of energy for me. We're gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna poop him. Oh god, no, you're dying already, I forgot, you need, you need to have a front laner. Okay, so what do we do here? Unless we're putting out these guys, damn, six damage bro, really? I guess my regen stays on him. Oh, because you die. Hang on. There we go. You're dead. And then... The other one is not dead. Oh. Die. Die. Multi strike, killing all the scrubs. Only getting a hundred damage in here. You got me a lot of energy, so we can play that. Play that, and you're dead. We need to get more imps. Ghosted to get pushed to July. We have uh, Last of Us coming up, and then five damage, seven rage. This is a good car, but I'm gonna go imp because I got the imp guy already. Um. Oh yes, Wildwood, free heal. 
Oh, that's right, my card. I forgot about this. What? Gain gold every time I use it, bro. Give it the wing treatment. I'm going to let him hold on to it only because I want to see what it upgrades into. If it's like 100 gold every time you use. All right. Um... What do I need to upgrade? You need unit upgrades. You'll be safe behind him. Dems, wait, do I have a... There is no duplicate portal. Um, shit. Removing units. I need to, I need to slim down my deck. What would I upgrade spell-wise? Spell-wise... Oh shit, yes, this way. Move, consume? No, 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 no. I want double stack. Double stack? It's not what I wanted, but double stack armor. No, it's not worth using it. Not on this stuff. Um, none of this is worth using, really. It's just a bust. Applies day. So they, when they get to the room, they're dazed and they're rooted. That's going to be really helpful, I think. Um, as for remove, I'm thinking glimmer. Glimmer ain't seeing the light of day. That's getting dropped. And um, I think a torch. My torch is just get ignored. When is the game you play in? Coming to YouTube. Uh, let me look. It'll be. Thursday. Thursday. All right. So, you're out. can't afford you yet. I don't want to play him too early because if he dies, I'll be sad. Uh, you're about to die. Okay, how do I do this? Do I just revenge gain to protect him maybe? I need the knockback. I gotta think, 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 think. What do I do here? Four, seven. Okay. You're gonna just tank for now. You're gonna do that. E yes. Good damage, but not enough. All right, you're protected now. Upgraded that. That was a waste. I need my empty boys. And seventy. You're doing 70? Oh, there we go. I need to get my imps out. I wanted to wait on the consume imp, but... And I need them out now. Uh, 
I got so much energy, dude. It doesn't matter if I have imps. I'm just going to play his ass. And I'm going to play... Are we going to survive if I do this? Forty, four hundred and eighty. Uh, oh, we win. Get him, Imp Man. Beat him with your big stick. I did not play ESO. I considered it. Oh, yeah. Pyre Chomper. We'll get him out real fast. Hell yeah. And an extra Wildwood. I like it. All right. Let's see. What did he do to my card? This has got to be pimped out. Free. It's free. And I get 35 gold every time I use it. Now, all I need to do is spell upgrade with holdover so that every single turn, every single turn I can use it. Right now, holdover is what I need. Give me the holdover. Holdover! Let's go. Where's it at? Where's it at? Boom! I'm going to use the shit out of that card. 35 gold every single turn. Uh, let's make you free and let's give you 10 more to pierce through those baddies beautiful and then on the purge we're good oh man we're we're about to, we're looking good now dude we're looking real good all right i got my imps i got three imps i can get him out real fast he'll protect the quickness torch your dookie get out My gold concerns are about to vanish. Green graveyard with pyre shards. Make him a thick boy. Yeah, that is that is going to be a great every single turn. I get to add more health, more attack damage. And I get free gold and it's always free to play. Oh, I did not like Shadow Colossus. I was so bored in that game, man. I I tried. I just couldn't do it. I was like, this is boring as hell. If I play you, you die. That makes me sad. 35 gold. Thirty-five gold. <laughs> Just thirty-five gold. Every turn, thirty-five gold. Thirty-five gold. Kill that off. If I play her now, she's dead. So I should wait. Full heal. 35 gold. I just gotta get my imps out. Actually, I might be able to play him right here. With that draw, I'm up to 8. 35 gold. Um... I need to give him multi strike. He needs multi strike to start getting these kills off. Oh, hell. Yeah. 
Get off my pyre, bro. I'm not getting my multi-strike, man. I'm gonna die from lack of multi-strike. This is terrifying. I need multi-strike. Screw it, put him out. No, we're not, we're not out of this yet. Not by a long shot. Putting out you. Oh, I think I fucked up. Instead of playing him, I had to multi-strike. No, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, you're dazed. Or, and rooted. So I need to kill these two. Right now, you're going to boop him to the back? No, you're gonna die. Pull you forward. Oh my god, my pyre! My pyre! I'm getting 200 damage in there. Thirty-five gold. <laughs> nope, and we're dead. I just don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if Hellhorn can do it. Maybe we try Hellhorn something else. Like I know Stygian has some, some, there's some synergy there. Melting, I think there, I don't, I don't like this synergy very much there. I know I was going to be rich as hell. Do I try another Umbra? Let's try another Umbra run. We'll give Umbra another shot and then we'll go to Stygian. I just want one Covenant win with uh, with these units, but it is not happening at all. What about Borderlands? Sure, just mess me up. What gems? I don't even have the good gems, did I? What did I have? Like ray gems or something? Yeah, I had ray gems. Ugh. Oh, I took the random money thing. Gives you <clears throat> plenty of card draw, but I need a way to make all these cards free. Or I'm screwed. I don't know. The only way to really make this work is I need like 
big old fatty units like him and then I just hope that they cost zero I don't yeah Borderlands I don't know man like the gameplay in Borderlands 3 is good but the problem was just that the story was like ass city like the worst it's ever been and that kind of just killed my desire to play it like and I know they've they've made changes you you know you can skip cutscenes now but I feel like the time has passed you know why don't I put you up top? I should have known that thing was coming and I didn't do anything with it. some magic happen here. Let's give rage to everybody. Ah, that's all I needed to beat you. I can get like infinite rage, I might be able to make something happen. Um, let's go here. Let's try and draft something. Something expensive. None of these work for what I need. Oh man, I am just not, not having luck right now. Prism Revival, just use that every turn. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like this run is already just not happening. Give me five demon fiends. I mean, the thing is, if I was to switch, switch up and play a different combo, I'm confident I could win. I already have, I know a bunch of different combos that work incredibly well. The problem is that Hellhorned is honestly just, I think, I think Hellhorned is the weakest of the, the various units that you could have. I just don't, I don't think they're very strong. I think they, uh, I just think they tend to get messed up. sports to be honest like 
right now we're just putting out a shitload of demons. Like if I had if I <clears throat> if I had all these demons upgraded, it'd be one thing. Like if I was able to upgrade them with multi strike or something before I copied them, this would be turning into a god run. But that was not the case. I mean, it's still a lot of demons, and they're strong, they're beefy. They just don't have... they're not as strong as they could be. forward to it I'm curious to see really need to, to beef some stuff up where's my uh, an extra one of those multi strikes I'm gonna make that work if it's the last damn thing I do uh, this one Octopath is good if you like old school RPGs like that I mean, just having a bunch of big guys, this this is kind of working, to be honest, which is funny. <laughs> but I don't know how long it's going to work for. Do you have sweep or something? Like if I can get if I can get these guys all upgraded in theory I could win off this strat I just need to keep taking expensive ass cards and just hope for the best and go over here and max them out multi strike yes just make them all stronger. Every single one of them gets some kind of buff. Large stone on you, sure. This one, you can get that and some damage shield. Every every single one of these demons needs to be, be a big scary thing. Get rid of these guys. You're useless to me.
This is kind of working, to be honest. <laughs> this kind of is working, actually. As ridiculous as it is. <laughs> Put an extra one there. <laughs> Why the hell not? Oh, God. Wow, I have never managed to beat this guy on phase one before. That's great. All the stealth in the world isn't going to save you from the ass beating that's happening. I like how the run where I'm like, screw it, let's just play the game is, is somehow this is going to be the run that works out. Oh my god. This is gonna this is gonna be the the run that does it. Quick. Uh you can have quick. And you get extra damage. You get rage. Uh and a large stone. You just get more health. And that. Like, this shouldn't work. This is, I think, this is the, uh... This is probably the laziest run I have ever done. Looks like Chris, Chris Hemsworth got more handsome and decided to play video games. I know. I, I, I try a lot to take care of my figure. What's happening, Savai? How you doing, man? We're gonna do you. Are any of you the large stone boys? You're not. I think I want to put a large stone boy there. Just have him die. Alright, there's the big boys. need you to die so I can play the other big boy. That's a lot of big ass demons. Can't beat the beef. I have units available. It's probably gonna get one of my imps. <laughs> it's like a father and son combo. Oh, man. Can I fit any? No, I can't. I can't even fit stuff. My rooms are just packed. the guy can even do anything being able to spam multi-strike on him has turned him into a god so do i give him trample now 
Because if I do, if I do transcend to imp, it'll be like one, two, three, four. So transcend to imp will be 12 rage, which is OP. But giving him tran- well, I don't know. I think, I mean, with his multi-strike, if he kills something, he goes on to the next unit already. So I think trample isn't really necessary. Let's go transcend to imp. And then our floors... A little bit extra energy. I'm already buffing my floors. Let's do this, just so that that way I'm not waiting on the floor buffs. Money? Let's go here. Hold over. Oh no, wait, I wanted a unit upgrade. There were no unit upgrades. What would I even do on hold over this, I guess? I can just start stacking uh, damage shield and ember drain because why not? Um, let's just do 20 magic power on uh, a torch. Right now from that, that's funny. I don't know why you're still in my deck. Get out. I need to get Endless on Transcendent Imp. Uh, let's do, yeah, 25 armor every time you kill something. That sounds funny. They get 20 armor. Take your armor. I got beefy boys. My beefy boys are about to pound. These are the regular beefy boys. They're gonna kill a beefy boy already, bro? No, you are not. You can kill a imp, but you will not kill a beefy boy. Not okay. I messed up. I could board wipe, but he would die in the process. He's only going to kill one. Do I lose one of my biggest boys to stop all of them from reaching the pyre? Yes. How strong is he? Damn! He's gonna do 1200 damage on his own? That's outrageous. This guy has 1250. He's getting through 1242. All on his own. Congrats, you've made it to the second floor. Now die. 
Thank you for the 400 gold. Um, another in flame. Why not? We're just going. We're taking all the cards. Damage trove. Sure. What do I need? More multi strike. An extra four stacks every time armor is applied. Uh, double the fun. Um, some life steal to get the party started. Let me let me check this first. Have I finished upgrading all of my beefy boys? All of my beefy. Oh yeah, endless transcendent. That's that's god tier. I can just infinitely stack my rage and uh, let's see what else do we want uh, large stone do I make a mean imp super imp no I don't think I want a mean imp is there anything I need to purge yeah let's get rid of a torch that's that's it. Here we go. Final fight. Here we go, boys. Endless transcendent. I'm just gonna stack my imps. Stack all the imps. Just maximize the rage of my dude. Let's see. What is get off of me? N three twelve. Uh, will you survive an initial strike here? Twenty two twenty five. Yes, you will. Not only will you survive, you're coming out with some life steal. Okay. Um. So let's do. is my wall. God, these are so annoying. My pyre is going to die to this garbage. Not if I have anything to say about it. Do some extra energy, friend. Get off my pyre, bro. I need to get my units out. Where's the thickness at? Add the quicken, add him in, add that in, get rid of that. How are you preparing for the Neo 2 DLC? Uh, I'm not. I'm all, all of my builds are god tier. What do I have to prepare for? What like what could I even do right now? More multi strike. Get rid of that garbage. Ah, oh, shit. No, my baby boy, I lost him. We have officially turned the Hellhorn Prince into a god. Look, he, he comes out of this fight with an extra 74 armor, dude. I win. Floor one win, but just, just because it'll be funny. Rage! 
armor and rage. Extra energy. Let it be known that Hornbreaker Prince can become OP. Oh, man. And that is a Covenant rank 11 win. So much damage on that one guy. I can't believe after trying and trying and trying, the, the thing that gets us the win is literally just making five of a big fat demon and then getting the random cost modifier and just being like, yep, this is what we're doing. Hornbreaker Prince, you finally have a spicy gold frame. Congratulations. Pulling away from the pack. I got to catch up to Insomni up here at 18, though. He's been trucking. They could patch a game like this, but... I mean, the, the, you're supposed to be able to, to do OP combos like this. Like, that's the whole point of this game. Especially, especially pushing the Covenant rank. Like, if you're not using an OP combo, you're dead. Anyway, let's do Stygian. We, we haven't played Stygian in a while. The last one I got with them was, was rank. Actually, let me, let me look. Let's see what the farthest, the farthest back Covenant win I have is. I think it's Stygian. So you popped rank 11, you did nine. You did eight and seven, you did 10. So yeah, Stygian needs some love. Uh, Stygian melting or... I feel like... I'm gonna try. I feel like Stygian Awoken, if you got uh, a Sting build, you could probably shred the game. Right? That's the thing too. It's all it's all RNG. Like, I mean, we're we're an hour 45 minutes into the stream. It took all of that before we got a combo that was able to pull something like that off. Oh uh, days. I like days more. Favorite clan? Probably Umbra. Umbra's pretty good. Um, let's do damage spells free. Damage spells free. Hey, when the mic's like right here versus when it's like right here, you guys can still hear me just as fine, right? If it's up, if it's up at the keyboard, is it is it the same? I know, I know, the sweep's good, but I wanna go I wanna go for spells. It sounds far away, it's quieter. Alright, I'll just keep it I'll just keep it right here for you. Just because I love you. Close like ASMR. Shit, I needed you in the mid lane. Doesn't matter, I can't play it. The thing is, the, the make spells cheaper build. The idea is to combine this with Encant to just do crazy amounts of Frostbite, but it's not enough. We have tickled this guy. It's like we're whispering into his taint. We've done nothing. Sadly, spell weakness seems to be like infinitely better because you need to have a shit ton of spells to throw out and a shit ton of draw power. This is baby game, cow baby. My dude, I'll tell you what. Uh, if you can get up to Covenant rank 12 in one week, I'll give you $100.
I want to see you record a Covenant rank 12 win within a week. And you get 100 bucks. Sounds like a sweet deal, right? I mean, it's a baby game, so you can definitely do it, I'm sure. Oh, let's go with this. Skip. And you to protect my man. Um, let's go here. I want you to be beefier and then give me the incant. Damn it, I didn't get the incant. Whatever. Make you even beefier. Let's go. Um, oh, a sweepy spell weakness. Hello. Every floor invasion. Why not? I need the money. What are you? Haste. So you're going straight up to the third floor. Great. Uh, Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you out. We're going to put you there. We're going to wipe them. I want to put her out, but she'll die if I place her now. There are days down here. She's just out here dropping fat spell weakness on people. Put the frostbite boy out. Just encanting up all that armor. Um, you can chill on some frostbite. Is that two spell weakness applications I see? Is that 13 frostbite I see? Quick 39 armor. What is your favorite game? It's called Phantom Dust. Offerings. Stings. I just need to keep stocking up. I need to have just tons and tons and tons of spells. Uh, let's go this way. I could use the Pyre Health. I need something good with Holdover or Double Stack. Double Stack on Titan's Tooth. Let's make you strong. Oh no, let's make Glimmer stronger. Yeah, Glimmer's good. Um, and then we'll make you... Sure, we'll make you cost one on the main floor. That'll work. Ooh, what do we want here? A lot of this revolves around rage. Melting has some good spells. Spells. Wait, what are my choices? Hellhorn, Melting, Umbra. Who's got them spells? Hellhorn rare. Hellhorned. It'll be double armor, multi strike, impolate, rage. None of those are what I need. Um, Umbra. 
30x isn't bad. Oh, Blazing Bolts is an Umbra spell. Yo, if I can get a Blazing Bolts, that'd be great. What about Melting? Melting is... Memento Mori. Umbra is what we're going to want here. Oh, <laughs> it's Blazing Bolts. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I upgrade that spell and it is... It is done, dude. It is done. I need to... Oh my god, holdover is what I wanted to. Whatever. I want to hit you with that, and then I need to get a holdover on it. And it'll be amazing. Every single turn, I'll throw that out for a ton of damage. Talking shit in chat? That's a paddling. I need her to be beefier before I can put her out right now. Oh no, she'll she'll survive one turn. But I need to get like a thick ass thick ass shield in front of her. But less than ideal, but Usually I just go for permanent frostbite, but... Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. How do you like your frostbite, sir? Ooh, um, oh, oh my god, wait, no, hang on. Well, I don't know, three spells, enhance them with consume 20 magic power and make them three. Aren't we up? Yeah, we're up against the devourer of spells version. I, I ain't about that life, give me channel song. Uh, vine mother, yes. Infinite sting spells and extra draw power. If I can make Vine Mother bad enough, she's usually a top laner. I like. Mm. An extra Blazing Bolts. An extra Channel Song. I could do a secondary guard to put him in front of the icy Kylo fight. That would help spell weakness build up on that floor. No, hang on, you're one, two. I think I need another Glacial Seal. Backup Glacial Seal sounds dope. Glimmer's good, offering tokens are all right. Train stewards. Are gone. Oh my god, it's another Vine Mother. Now I just need the the good shit. 
As long as I'm not against thorns. Like, I don't think I really... Most of my spells are one costs. So let's go for the frostbite. Frostbite. I did. I did get it done with the red horn guy. It was crazy. Brutal win. All right, so you're going here, you're going here, you're going here. We need to protect you. You're dead in a turn. Execute that. All right. Um. It's a strong ass glacial seal. Not really what I wanted, but with double glacial seals. Um, I really need to wipe them here. But I want to put out this. Vine Mother, you'll have to wait your turn, sweetie. I wanted the money. <laughs> it's dead to the frostbite already dude <laughs> this is stupid yo and we got a cuddle beard <laughs> oh my god oh shit I already have two of them I think armor and canter um Uh, 11 was this I could probably pull it up it was it was the stupidest run I think I have seen in a while um, let me see is there a way to check most recent runs um, it was anyway it was a hellhorn one and we basically just copied the the big demon five times with a portal. And then I got the thing that randomized unit costs and I just chucked him out. Every single thing was just throwing that guy out and it just worked. It was amazing. Let's go here. I want to get some something for my spells. Spells gain an extra upgrade slot. Draw one could be really potent here. An extra draw. Let's do the extra draw. Draw power. I'm all about draw power right now. Oh man. What do we got here? Penance yard. Um. Mm -hmm. Friendly units get damage. Let's do that and we'll pop the blights to restore health. Spell builds can be really fun when you get them set up right. You just gotta know, like, if I had picked spikes there, I would have been obliterated.
So there's certain things you can't do. Oh boy. Everybody's dazed, which is broken. Oh. I drew out what I needed. The dazed is actually working really well. You know what? That actually serves as like a semi decent tank. Goodbye. First, I'd like to give you some frostbite. Then, I'd like to do this. I notice you have a lot of spell weakness. Let's talk about that. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. One damage to a random enemy five times. Not less. I mean, with the quill, with the with all the stings I have, I'm not worried about it because a sting will get consumed and then two more stings will get created. I just need to be able to get enough damage in to survive. Um, and for that, I think I'm making another blocker for the bottom floor. I think that's the safe bet here. Let's do this. Let's, um, I would like another blazing bolts, but let me, let me get an extra blocker. And then as for our removes, let's drop out two of the two of the restores. Oh dude, the max frostbite video is dirty. And spotter six coming in, becoming a booty legend. Running the ranks of many legends. All right, I'm playing you. He's a thick boy. Putting you out now. Goodbye. Oh, I drew her out, but I couldn't play her. That's okay. I'll get her out soon enough. Um, so we're going to put, I want you to die. And that, perfect. Boy, mine's a garbage. All right, well, let's take care of that. Let's see, you're a five. We can heal that up with our own cards. Um, let me 
put you out. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna play that to heal and Draw power I have right now is just immense. He's nice and stacked up on armor. There we go. She's out now. Um, I'm gonna wipe there. Um, Want to play you? rid of that so we can start hitting units I mean a couple things are gonna sneak through and hit me up top but that's mainly because it took like this is probably the longest it's taken uh, to get fully set up let's remove that you're five damage no I can't even play you Ugh. Play that for the heal. You die. Not gonna get enough damage in there. There we go. Goodbye. They all die. That's a lot of armor. GG. Poor Frost Effigy. We win the game. Poor Frost Effigy is, is literally a game changer. It absolutely obliterates stuff. Permafrost. On that. And double stack. Uh, let's do... No, I don't think I need any double stacks. I'll make you a one cost. I was hoping to get hold over, but it never happened. Playing a spell deals two damage to a random enemy on the floor. Lol. Let's do that. I'd really like to get hold over... Um, I mean, let's just do it. 20 Frostbite? Why not? I like 20 Frostbite. Oh, strike! Apply Frostbite 22. Or make damage spells cost 2 less. So what am I rocking that would I would need that for? The only thing that would impact is my Horfrost Effigy and my Titan's Tooth. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I want. I don't want to be worrying about casts. I want to be able to just throw my shit out. Oh, restore all health. I'm going to pass on that. 
I don't want you healing up. Frostbite is all about you not healing up. I don't want to play her. I don't know if you're going to just kill her. Okay, Vine Mother's up top. Um, heal. Super Train Steward. Putting you there. Giving you some Frostbite. Doing this. I don't have my, I need my encanters. Where are the encanters at? Get them out. It's one. It's two. Like that, you're gonna take five. Um, he'll die. Toss that. Frostbite. End. Get off my pyre, nerd. Still not dead. These gilded wing things are fucking tanky. Sounds so different. Yeah, it's amazing what a better quality microphone will do for you, right? Um, let's... I mean, I could wipe this thing out. No, I can't. Well, it'll be dead by the time it gets to the roof. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're dying. Playing that for the heals. dead. Extra magic power on the floor. be OP and Dark Arisen, what gear to go endgame? All depends on your class. All depends on the class. Let's go this way. We're gonna grab this. And actually, hold up. I need... Let me make... Where is it at? Yes. Make you a one cost. I like that. 
Uh, double stack on you? 16, maybe? Let's upgrade the Glimmer. Um, an extra Blazing Bolts. Probably an extra Horfrost Effigy. And I can't get anything here anyway. Frozen cards are reduced to zero to spell weakness. Um, why not? Final fight. Okay. This is all going to be about how set up I can get. It's all about the setup here. Depends on what our draws are. Two of them are dazed. We're gonna put you out. We're gonna do you here. Gonna play that for the heal. I need to put that out, but it'll die right now, so I can't. Um, how expensive are my vine mothers? I need to just wait. I need to not play anything here. I need to just wait. Vine Mother is out. Glacial is out. Um, I need to put you down. Floors are coming together. Floors are coming together. Give him his consume. Get the heal. Put her out. First Tor Frost Effigy is out. Okay. Um... Do I give you armor or magic power? Let's just put you up here. Just tank a hit for us. Um, that and this. Consume on a sting. Sixty on that. I think this game is way more fun than Slay the Spire. After playing this for so long, like honestly, I can't even go back to Slay the Spire. It just feels lackluster by comparison. Zoom with the stings. Build that up. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Glacial's out. We're gonna pop this. We're gonna put you down here. And then we're gonna glimmer. And we're gonna sting. And we're gonna sting. And we're gonna whore frost. 584. As long as they don't preemptively pop my, my thing, I win this on, uh... Wait. Six oh eight. No, they killed my stingers! Damn it, that is not enough. That is not enough. Oh boy. Oh no, this is hurting. This is hurting bad. Final wave. Um, I need to kill... Hang on, let me... 
Get the heal off. Get the sting out. Offering token. Yeah, just discard him. Um, you're gonna die. Oh my god. He dies as he goes up. 999 Frostbite. Just for good measure. Boom! Slipping through there. Barely alive, but Max Frostbite takes it. I like how we weren't even trying to go for a Frostbite build. That wasn't even- the goal was just spamming the shit out of spells, and the game's like, Hey, have some Encamp Frostbite and a Cuddlebeard. And I'm like, alright, if you insist. Ooh, man. And a copy of the Primary Clan Starter Card to your starter deck. That is two Covenant increases in a row. Exactly. A close win is still a win. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pee real fast. Um, y'all decide on what run I should do next. I'm think. I'm thinking Umbra. I'm thinking Umbra. We haven't done a dedicated Umbra run tonight. Let me get a. I'm gonna get a, a little straw pull up real fast. So, what we're gonna be voting on is whether it's Hellhorned, Awoken, Stygian, or Melting. We're gonna vote for, uh... What our ally clan is. I'll post this in chat. It actually posts, there we go. Alright, vote in that, and when I get back, we'll decide what we're doing. So I think we, uh, <clears throat> this isn't really, really irrelevant, but we installed a fan into the baby room over the weekend, because, like, the air has to be a very particular temperature in there. And I didn't realize how easy it is to install a ceiling fan. I'm totally going to get rid of this light above and install a ceiling fan, and then no more sweatiness while playing games. <laughs> I'm going to, it's going to, it's going to be nice. I will, I will defeat my sweatiness. Uh, let's see. What is the vote? The results are... Melting Remnant with Awoken being a close runner-up. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Melting Remnant. Kind of an odd combo, but there is some... Uh, honestly, I think... I think... Uh, I think Melting Umbra is really strong. Uh, but we'll see. I broke, I broke Covenant rank 5 with that. 
I have not breaking a broken a covenant rank with this combo, so we'll we'll see what happens. Was this my first child? It's my first child with Paige. I already have a kid that I don't get to see, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, so we got Burnout 2 and some healing. Life Drain and Ember Drain can be interesting. Caven has some good implications of played right. Deal two damage to the rear enemy when a morsel unit is eaten or damage shield two to the first friendly unit summoned each turn. Let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go trample. I, I, the, the gorge build, I don't know. The gorge build can be good. It just takes a long time to build up. Like a long ass time. I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Trample is a safe bet. You literally can't go wrong with Trample. He just and, and piles through everything. But Gorge, I think my problem with Gorge is if we're going to get 20, he needs to eat seven. Assuming they're healers, he needs to eat seven just to get as strong as Trample. Let's see. Glutton, trample, gorge, trample, trample. Biggest would choose trample. Trample, thick penumbra. It's kind of how I feel. Let's go thick boy. Especially in the harder difficulty. The, the biggest advantage of trample is it allows him to just be up front and immediately start just shitting on stuff. As long as he doesn't die immediately. If I can survive, he'll kill everything, but there is a chance that he... Oh no, he'll he'll be fine. Um, just give him life drain, because why the hell not? This thing's getting away, but ain't nothing I can do about that. Have life steal. Um, we'll put you out with some of them to tank. This is why Trample's good. He just literally pile drive to everybody damn these guys are just gonna tear shit up all of my units are about to die as long as I keep life steal on him Trample is a huge threat. That's literally all I have to do, is I just life steal, and he becomes a god. You lose. Big boy. Um, since we're doing lifesteal, this can be good, just to give me some on-demand energy to spend something. Let's do this. Repeatable energy source. And then we'll do molded. In the event that he somehow dies, we'll mold him and bring him back. Um, let's see what we can get. The burnout lady, she's not bad. I can, I can dig the burnout lady. Make her a little stronger. 
45, 25. I can, I can get down on that. I think the morsel is eaten along with the thing it's holding. Because the morsel dies. Moves directly to the third floor. We're going to put you up top. Deal with the dazed. We'll put you in case something gets summoned in the middle. There we go. Took care of that. We're going to keep purifying cleanse on her. And we're about to die. Just kidding. No, we're not. Oh, no. We're still going to die. Well, damn. She ain't beefy enough, apparently. Have some help. Have a damage shield. Do we have room? We don't have room for... Well, we could... No, that was stupid. Even if I pull her out, there's nowhere to fit her ass. Um. Do what you can, minions. You think you'll win, but I have life steal. That's literally it. I'm just going to keep life stealing him while he beats everything to death. Let's get another one of those. Uh, I already got the one reform. I don't think I need multiple. Shadow Eater is a fun card to mess around with. A little bit goofy, but a fun card. I want to get an upgrade, but we're going to go this way. I'd rather get the pyre health first. Um, Daze, yeah. Let's daze him. That way I can daze and trample and just keep clapping cheeks. Um, oh, God. Stygy awoken or hellhorn. Let's take a look. Cards, rare. So, Hellhorned. Hellhorned. <clears throat> Deranged Brute could be good. Um. There's a chance for getting the multi strike. I get quick if I go with them. I don't think I want Stygian. Nothing in Stygian really works. So the, it's it's a call between Quick or a potential multi-strike. The multi-strike is expensive. Quick Trample would just rip through enemies. And if I don't get Quick Trample, I could also get the full heal. Let's, let's do... I'm thinking Awoken. Ooh, man. Um... Hmm. So unleash the wildwood could be really good, but I have life steal. Maybe I go for spreading spores and beef him up to add a little regen into his package, and I can make I can get like a holdover and a minus one, so it's cheap. What do we think, chat? That or do I go for wildwood? Hmm. 
I could also go with Cycle of Life and just make him beefier in general with an extra 10 health. Lifesteal will probably keep up. I mean, technically speaking, if, if lifesteal, if we're counting on lifesteal, this would be the best bet. Because I'm straight up boosting his health up by 10. Spikes would be a, a decent split since I'm going to add some counterattack damage. Like this, this will help out a lot in boss fights. This will make him just tankier in general by ramping his health up and giving him more to lifesteal with. I think we can pass on Wildwood. I think the question, because since we have, since we have the life steal, the question is, do we want to ramp his health up with Cycle of Life, or have Regen and Spikes to help kill scrub things that attack him? I know it doesn't have to go on the hero, but my other guys got burnout. It doesn't really make sense to to rely on a full heal for a burnout unit. They're gonna die anyway. Their, their whole thing is they're going to die and get reformed. So why would I want to eliminate? Oh, man. I think Cycle of Life is going to be the better bet since I have... I, I just need to make it... I need to make it way cheaper since um, I'm ember embering myself down. So let's... We'll go to a... Um, we got to go to a spell modifier next. Actually, shit. I need to... This isn't good. Alright, no. He'll be fine. Um... Um... How much Ember Drain do you have? One right now? Be going down to three. But you're gonna cleave everything and heal. I think I hold off. Everything, that's true. Everything that comes up to the top floor gets dazed anyway, so it's not like I really need my uh, my thing. Let's give you a damage shield. You're just a meat shield. You're not doing anything. Uh, extra damage shield on him. That would have cost me the game. Oh no, I'm gonna be getting food as, as soon as the stream is done. I'm eating dinner. And we win. Furnace tap is really good. Furnace tap is really good. It's just risky ass. It's a risky card. Risky business. 
Um, money maker or size. I need to do a spell upgrade, but let's go this way. I need, there's some things I need. Oh shit, Shadow Sheej. I don't have any way to play him right now, but Shadow Siege claps. Like Sad Shadow Siege is, in my opinion, like the best character in the game. If you can pimp him out, he's unstoppable. And we'll do an extra furnace tap because when I play that, it's GG. Make them stronger for 150 gold. Right. I need a, uh, a morsel maker for this guy. Because what I'd like to do is put a morsel maker down here. And then have this guy just harvest off the morsels being eaten. I could at least get the energy. I'm never gonna, I need to find a way to make him cheaper. Let's give you the life steal. If I had the uh, the thing that just makes units, that would work too. Ramp my energy up. Like, cause if I can get those up on him, he becomes unstoppable. Like, he's a 90, he's a multi-strike trampler, but the only problem now is I'll, you know, I'm, I won't be able... And the same thing would work for Shadow Siege. If I can get Shadow Siege out, I'll be able to just shred. But right now, we're very much like, Penumbra is the card. Which is fine. Damage shield, yeah. We're we're leaning towards a zero deck right now, which would mean I'd have to get rid of Shadow Siege. It's hard to say fast. Shadow Siege. Create a spell to remove consume. Well, I was gonna do that, but I don't really know. I think the better thing here is to make it cost one. Just because having two is already kind of hard when I'm doing so many immortal trades. I think I gotta make it cost one. Same. This. And if I have... If I get Cycle of Life, I could play that at a two cost and keep playing it to ramp my health up, maybe? Or do I do Holdover to continually bring back one particular thing I want to eat? Let's do Cycle of Life. I'll make it cheaper as soon as I can.
Well, what I could do, there is, there are, there is a chance that I could make him work. I would need to get like a, uh, like put out units randomly type deal. bit early but fuck it do it now because if he has multi-strike this early he'll be he'll be basically unstoppable yeah no I'm, I'm just I gotta remove stuff this is turning into a zero deck where like I can only play cards that are free but when I play them my guy is like just ridiculously strong and I'm just putting them out to get gold I need I need rapid energy gain or more perils of production so that I can play that to get two on demand I need a hold over on perils of production that's what I need Hold over on perils of production is exactly what I need to make this work. Because then I can play that just to get two energy, and with that two energy I can play the spell I want. Like I could do it with this. That's, that is the golden ticket here. Oh, you think you're gonna kill me? I think not, bitch. I think you're not even gonna hurt me. He's a big boy. Ooh, this could help. Ember Forge could help in a big way. <sighs> Though I'd have to put Penumbra on the second floor so that he wipes everything before it reaches that. Actually, hold up. How much... You take up four slots. All right, so I can't double up on you. Let's go here. And... Oh, God. Chat, do I just get rid of Shadow? Do I get rid of Shadow? I like Shadow, but at a six cost, he's like never getting played. I mean, maybe I could get him out with Ember Forge. That's a big maybe. I'm not using Cave In at all. Let me drop Cave In. And let me drop one of these. I'm hanging on to him for now. I'm going to make him viable. I'm going to find a way. Probably can't play him, but I'm gonna try. Um, I just need a little something on you. And then the damage shield. If I could get him out. Okay, I'm gonna try. Endless. What would I want an endless on? Nothing really. Well, so right now, there's a chance I could get him out with the uh, with the power of the, the furnace. If I do the furnace, I could potentially play him. So the thing is, we start, we start with three, right? That sucks. You're all dead.
Like right now, if I did this, that's two. Hang on. Maybe I can... No, we're gonna... Shoot a damage shield after this. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna get him out. It is, it is possible. With the power of this. With that, I could play him. I would just need my first lane to be wiped. Which is very possible. It'll be a while before he comes back up. Even with all of the uh, the ember stuff up, well, I'm not going to get him out now, but I also have a ridiculously strong penumbra. Can't even get out cycle of life, dude. <laughs> I should have taken the quick. I should have done the quick. when I have a 102 by throw god get off me bro get off me bro the number says sit down get hold over I need you to be one I need a hold over oh my god hold over where's it at where's it at where's it at where's it at there we go perils of production I am I don't want to get rid of him but he really isn't doing anything I can't to get out to six I would need to hold off on furnace tapping and immortal trading and I can't afford to do that so unfortunately goodbye um as for I think Shadow Eater, I don't think he has a place anymore either. Let's get rid of him. It just, it just doesn't make sense. Super Trample. 170 damage. I'm gonna buy every single freaking thing. I also think he makes the most sense up on the top floor. Be honest. He's just a big boy. Every single turn. So he's gonna have just permanent Ember Drain. 
But, since I can do this, haha. -ha. Are you guys gonna kill this? You are. I don't want you to kill it. I'll put it down there for a turn. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that's right. That has holdover, too. I forgot. Oh, no. Dude, no other units even matter. Other units don't matter. I can play this. I can do this to get two more energy. And then I can furnace tap him. He's literally invincible. Like, nothing will be able to stop him. Like, oh no, I don't have the energy to play. Oh, just kidding. Yes, I do. <laughs> Dude, this Penumbra is god tier now. Exactly. I don't need other units. Penumbra is the unit. He just wipes. He wipes entire floors. Then there's nothing. There's nothing that needs to be done here. Other than just making him more of a god. Like, I don't even need to do this, I just want to. Brah, number smash. This is honestly like the goofiest shit. Um yeah, more damage shield and rage, sure, why not? Oh my god. Uh, I think I go this way. And I think I remove even more cards from my deck. Uh, y'all aren't getting touched at all. Get out. Stop taking up the space of my zero costs. Merchant of Steel. Uh. No, let me save my money. None of this matters. Oh, God. Um, what do I do here? If I do this, <clears throat> that gives me four energy to work with any turn, no matter what. So then I'd always have, I mean, did, I don't know. Last round it felt good, but there were a couple times where I was like, huh, I gotta decide what to play. But the only time it would really, well, no, these are consumes. I think I make another one of these. And now I spend the thousand gold I have. That'll make most of my units are already free, but. None of these are really needed. I mean, I could grab that, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Draw and make him hurt moving between floors. I don't know. I mean, it's an extra 500 points I'll get. Like, I don't really need anything. But but the point is, there's no there, there wasn't any point buffing my units because I'm not using them. They die. Like, their whole purpose is to just die.
Like, I'm already about to pop off. Look at Seraph, 600 damage. 600 damage already. Like, stay out of the top lane, bro. I will end you. And since everything gets dazed when it comes up top... More multi-strike. More damage shield. More energy. Like none of the, I don't even know why I'm bothering. None of these cards I'm playing have a purpose other than me playing stuff for the sake of playing it. This is all that matters. Yeah, this is the biggest chungus. Part of me really wishes that I was, uh, that I was re uh, recording this episode because this is outrageous. This is, bar none, this is the most outrageous run we have ever done. Like, not even, not even remotely close. This is stupid. 200 times five. 200 times five, he has rage. He has lifesteal. I have 28 Ember Drain, so I never have energy, but it's irrelevant because I deal so much damage that nothing can hurt me. Like, he just he just cast Ember Drain on me. Like, what are you doing? Stop. It does not matter. You know, I, I've been thinking about doing a build like this for a while. It's good to see just how ridiculous it can get. This is the biggest chungus. Chungus, super big, chungy boy. Let's let's slow it down just to watch it in real time. <laughs> the biggest chungus was. You just, you just couldn't stop him, dude. I think the craziest thing is that he got strong enough to where even units that like, like stuff couldn't even make it up to the pyre once we ramped him up. He was just too big. Stuff would be like, well, I'm going to get in his way. And it's like, no, you're not. You're going to, you're going to die. You're going to be obliterated. That was an awesome build. And that is, that is three, three covenant ranks in a row, man. Just destroying it. We are on fire tonight. In the best way. Oh, man. Gotta pull the run summary up on that one. For anybody who wants to experience their own big chungus. But we're gonna wrap up on that note. It is 10 o'clock. I wanna make some dinner. There's the code for those that wanna go mess around with that. That was a good match. Um, anyway, tomorrow we got more uh, Skeletac. We're doing Skull Attack tomorrow and Thursday, and then Friday, of course, this week, we are doing uh, For Honor and then a Drunk Band. So, it's gonna be spicy. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with the Chungus, and I'll catch you next time.